Hey, what's good? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm talking about all the trades taken so far in free trades, all for free. Links down below in the description. We're probably like the best free trading group right now <clears throat> and have been for a while now. We caught the 1715, uh, sorry, 1718 buys, which was just below here, as you can see. And then we called that, took about 7% away from that sort of trade and if you look on the 1h and it'll make it easier because we actually called these sales too and also the 4h previous sales from T tokyo session and also london open now what happened is when london opened we saw the bullish spiking engulfing candles on the 15 minutes on the 30 minutes also we saw price within the hour spike up now when we saw this huge bullish engulfing candle, we thought on the daily, can it go to up here at 16.31? Because in the end of the day, if you look on a daily, <clears throat> and I wasn't trading after I smashed these trades because I hit an SL. But if you look, I was thinking we might see sales back down to 17.01. And then if it's going to break below 17.01 to 1700, then it's a complete sell. Because when you see this blow, um, this high up here, all the way down from the lower highs that it's come, this is a massive price retracement in the market. Look at the days. It's taken about a week bullish momentum from last week and we've carried through onto this week. Now, that's overall market direction. We're probably likely to see a 1736 wick out, 100%, which is... Which is why this trade could have been risky, but you've got to use the time zones for your advantage. Now, you realize when London opens, a huge spike up. This is just to catch everyone out who sold prior, just before Tokyo session and after Tokyo session. Now, if you're looking on the 15 minutes as well, you can see high, high, then sells. So, you know that the trade, if you're looking on the 15 minutes, get some OB right there. So, you made two highs, retest, into sells back down. Because, you know, price might have to pull back from this engulfing here on the 1H where price went from 17.10 to 17.29. Now, this is why when you sold and broke through 17.10, you knew gold was going to be sells further down. Now, that's why it made sense on the daily for it to come down to around the 17.01 and 16.99. That's pretty much how you view gold. Now... Let me just show you. This is the four hour. I'm just going to see if I can see any indications. But again, bullish spike up, pull back, bullish spike again, collecting orders. Is this 4H going to price push up and break above? Who knows? Look at the 1H right now. We've seen the wick and collect orders. Grab liquidity. Now, are we going to go long and break through? Now, that there's a huge possibility that we can actually break through. Um, <clears throat> this was the sales that we caught. We also caught the buys just here at 17.18, which because we had 10 pip sell, you know, we, we secured the profits at 7%. And then obviously these sales right here, which this was the craziest thing about this trade. I closed out for 8%, but we actually hit take profit, which would have been 18% on this trade. Obviously, I got back in here as well um, and made some profits here and there. But apart from that, it was a great day. It's like over 15%. Probably about 13% if you minus the SL at the end of the day, um, if you entered one or two pairs. But now if you're looking on the 1H, if gold breaks out and makes new highs up over this area here at 17.10, then we're likely to see gold buyers. And if you're looking on the, the lower highs, we're just seeing it stagger up now. Stagger, stagger, stagger. Collection of all the 1700s, which is the push up over here. All of that is collecting orders and like i said now we push up highs all today to 17.32 so i'm actually going to jump in buys now because this is definitely coming in if you guys are new to the channel subscribe join up the free trades i'm actually not going to jump in buys because i've already traded a lot today but i would have jumped in buys however i feel good not straight but as i said join up the free trades like subscribe to the channel Subscribe to the reacts from pumping out all the time, pumping out shorts on this channel also, and trading for free for you guys and smashing, you know, 15% in a day. We're smashing, made 2% yesterday, so we're up, a, we're up a lot of percent already this week, and, you know, it's only Wednesday. So, big, big trades being hit. 
funded group, check the free trades out. I pass people for $1,000 on their prop firm accounts. Everyone's passing. Go check the proof in free trades. It's crazy. It's such a good, satisfying feeling when you pass someone. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for the support. I appreciate it. Take care. Much love and peace.